Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us. I have a very special guest here with, for a very special game. I'm so excited about Hell Divers is like the coolest. And hello, I have been told that you are uh, the game director on Hell Divers. Uh, that's true. You didn't want to be introduced as the big boss man. No, well, I'm because you don't like the, yeah. doing boss stuff. Yeah, this, what I heard. The, the CEO title is just silly. Game director. Yeah. And you are. Well, I mean, that's pretty pretentious as well. Oh, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> I didn't introduce you. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is Johan. This is Johan, yeah. everyone. Yeah. So, um, so welcome. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Thank uh, you. I have been excited about Hell Divers for a long time. It basically is an awesome. It's very difficult, brutal, cooperative, top-down shooter. Would you say that is an accurate explanation of the game? Yeah. It sort of makes sense to say that because that's exactly what it sort is. Sort of makes sense. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it is a top-down action game. Yeah. How, well, would you, how about this? How would you describe it? Give us like Hell Divers in a nutshell. I, I would say it's a soldier suicide simulator. <laughs> These are fictional soldiers. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so uh, you, you anticipate players dying a lot. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, we've nicknamed it Hell Dyers at the office. So, I mean, the game is just set up for uh, brutal failure. So, yeah. So you, you kind of have to be prepared to fail when, yeah. you, when you go in to play this game because it is brutally challenging. It'll appeal to anyone that really likes hard games. Uh, which is a lot of people nowadays. And we can actually see some footage here. We're, uh, do you want to talk about this environment a little bit? Sure. I mean, Helldivers is set in a dystopian universe. Um, the government is ruled by this managed uh, de uh, democracy. Um, managed democracy. Yeah, it's sort of... It's, yeah, so the government decided it's better to sort of manage democracy because then the outcome will be more predictable. Um, and you're these elite soldiers, and uh, or well, the government tells you you're elite soldiers, but you're actually just recruited. So, <laughs> but, and and the reason why you're elite is you're only going up like four four guys against a huge enemy army. And so here we have uh, the Hell Divers fighting against the cyborgs, which is one of the uh, three enemy races in the game. Oh, and this is newly revealed, right? Uh, yeah, sort of. Well, we've, we've done a partial reveal of it. Uh, the only thing that we haven't revealed yet is uh, the last enemy okay. uh, species. But yeah, you are. Um, I think we should talk about the fact that a lot of this game, including the missions, the environments, I mean, that's. Are you saying randomly generated or procedural? Procedural. Procedural. Yeah, I random. Get those two confused. <laughs> yeah. And I got beat up. Random indicates that there is no order whatsoever. There is a little order. Yeah. Just but, a sprinkle of order on the yeah. top. So yeah, yeah. this is procedural, which means that when you go in there with your friends, you can play up to four people through like any combination of online and offline, correct? Yeah. So the game is going to be available on PS Vita, PS3, and PS4. Awesome. And it's going to be cross-play across all platforms. That sounds like a pitch that I would do on stage in front of a huge audience. Oh, well. <laughs> These are just the guys. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Yeah, but it's <laughs> okay, right. So, but it's true. Which with is a great thing you guys have I done. Can, I can do a brilliant uh, introduction of uh, the cross-play elements, and that is with cross-play, PlayStation is the best play to play, whichever platform you choose to play on. <laughs> Well done. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, oh gosh, I'm sorry, I just saw a mech so, right next yeah, to me. So, the mech is a weird part of Helldivers. I mean, everybody, the, uh, every time you go into a mission in Helldivers, you get to choose a loadout. So, the, uh, that can be fro anything from like an air picking airstrikes, uh, machine guns, uh, rocket launchers, whatever. Standard uh, fair. Yeah, so, and you can call these down at any time during gameplay. Just pop up the strategy menu, hit the combination, and you're going to get whatever you order from orbit. And that's a great part of the game, too, because that kind of puts a little extra pressure on the player, like right in the middle of combat, they have to enter directional input. Yeah, I mean, uh, you wouldn't imagine how hard it is to hold down a button and press up, down, up, down during the heat of combat. I mean, I, I would I never like imagine it's... that 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 that's a trivial task, right? You but make it sound sarcastic, but it is actually hard yeah. to do that. I mean, 
a, a four button combination is hard enough but when you get up to a six button combination your just brain your brain just fries and then with there's bullets flying at you and you yeah. and it's always on friendly fire yeah friendly fire is always on you can always kill your friends by yeah. accident which is terrible yeah. but it, but, but it also creates a really good dynamic when you're playing the game so in in many other games you really don't have to pay attention where your friends are because it doesn't matter so here in Helldivers, you always have to watch where the other players are. So especially when uh, you have like an enemy dropping in the middle of the team and everybody scatters and right. fires inwards. And that's just set up to become like this huge uh, uh, slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> and Because uh, positioning is critical, right? All the time. Yeah. Like where, uh, where your friends are on the map. Yeah, exactly. And it's something that I really like when, in, when, uh, when I think about game design. One of the core components to, uh, to any game is the movement. Mm. The players always move around in games, and that should affect the gameplay, not just uh, in a... Like, not like... It should affect the gameplay in a fundamental way. Mm. Mm. And yeah, and, and as you can see, so who, who are the footage that we're watching? Are these designers or are these just play testers? Uh, I who are think we it's the here? QA team. So, so they should be pretty good. Yeah, they should. But uh, and just as I say that, someone is killed in action. So yeah, I have great timing. But I mean, for, wanna, <laughs> for, for instance, you have the machine gun turret that they call down. It's a, a pretty dumb turret. So it just picks the closest enemy and keeps on firing at it. And it's a bit relentless in the way that if the next enemy that it's going to kill is uh, close by, it won't stop firing. It just right. turns while firing and it just mows down everyone, including hell divers and escort, uh, civilians that you need to escort or whatever. So you really need to, uh, you always need to think before you do things in hell divers. And that sort of thought process gets sort of hindered by the fact that you're pretty stressed out from the fact that there's a huge swarm of enemies coming at you. I mean, I would be stressed out if that happened, yeah. for sure. I feel like you guys have just intentionally designed near impossible odds for players when they're, when they're facing this game. Are you, are you talking about difficulty levels yet and like kind of how you're tuning difficulty? Yeah, so, I mean, Helldivers has... Uh, there's sort of similar or several difficulty levels yeah. uh, in... Uh, not only like uh, easy, medium, hard, whatever. Sure. But you have uh, difficulties on planets, you have it on mission, and also the galactic campaign. So there are th like three levels of gameplay in Helldivers. So the first one is, uh, well, the core minute to minute gameplay that sure. we're showing right now. Which we're seeing here. Yeah, <laughs> everywhere. So the soldiers in Helldivers uh, need to complete a set number of objectives. These objectives are range for really simple and to a lot to very challenging and uh, these missions are part of uh, a planet so the, your sort of hour to hour goal is to liberate these planets from whichever species is controlling that and uh, when you've done that you gain stratagems as rewards mm -hmm. so every time you complete a planet you're going to get a new stratagem and there's a well a bunch of them in in the uh, there in the couch drinking a coke and punching your buddy on the shoulder when he accidentally kills you sure so a familiar story for yeah. anyway <laughs> and i mean it, it used to be a really familiar story but games tend to have gone more towards the story driven nature and sure i love those games but sometimes i just want to go back to basics and have a good laugh with my pals in the couch so well we started when we started doing Helldivers, we thought, like, how could we uh, do more with the co-op? Sure. So in Helldivers, everyone that's playing the game in the entire world uh, plays uh, in the same world. So every planet you complete confers to a galactic campaign, which is sort of like a cloud-based uh, MMO kind of uh, 
element to the game. Awesome. So everybody, uh, w once you complete a planet, that uh, 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 that progress will be pushed towards the front line. So the front line will be pushed a little bit. Sure. Uh, and uh, when you get a huge volume of players, everybody's just going to confer to that, and you're going to grab more and more regions, and in the end, uh, uh, you'll eventually eliminate one of the enemy races until you uh -huh. have eliminated all three, and then the game starts over, and the okay. next Galactic Campaign, the next season, is going to be even more challenging if you won. Or the enemies could push back towards Super Earth, which is, well, it's our basic, uh, regular Earth, but somebody added a super front. in sure. front of it, just to, just to emphasize how awesome it is. Of course. Uh, so, I mean, if you lose, if, you, if the enemy has managed to get to Earth and eradicate it, then, then you've lost. And the next season is going to be uh, a bit less challenging. But uh, those are sort of the three difficulties. So you've got uh, the Galactic Campaign difficulty, which is dynamic, changes based on season. You get the planet difficulty, which sort of what, what kind of reward do you want, and uh, how difficult they are the mission or all well, the missions on the planet gonna be, and then you got the individual mission difficulty. So the first mission on a medium planet might be one difficulty, the next one might be a li little bit cha more challenging, and the next one will be the hardest of the three, mm -hmm. um, and you can pick them in any order. Awesome. Well, I think we're running low on time, um, and if we're not, yeah, I, 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 I could go on. Me. I could ramble <laughs> about this game. I would, I would. We can do it afterwards. Yeah, but I mean, I, I guess that everybody should just try to play it. They should play it because it's here at E3 24. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's on the PS3 and on the PS4. Awesome. Uh, and you are also working on a PS Vita version as well. Yeah, exactly. awesome. Well, Johan, thank you so much. Best of luck to you and your team as you guys continue development. Um, and I think we are going to actually check a uh, Helldivers trailer right now. So you guys enjoy and enjoy the rest of your E3 2014. Thank you.